Astronomers believe there could be billions, maybe even trillions of tiny planets in the Milky Way that don't orbit a sun. These free-floating worlds are called rogue planets, and astronomers from Poland think they've found one the exact same size as Earth for the first time ever. Rogue planets are distant worlds that get kicked out of their solar system by the gravity of another star, planet, or galaxy. While scientists think that they might outnumber the stars themselves, rogue planets are really hard to detect because most of our planetary detection methods rely on stars. Stars provide the radiation that makes planets visible to telescopes, stars flicker and twinkle in the sky when planets pass between them and Earth, and stars even wobble a little bit in their orbits when there is a nearby planet tugging on them with their gravity. So how do you detect a planet without a star? It takes a little help from Einstein. Part of Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts this effect called gravitational lensing. And basically that's when a massive object, like a planet, uh, passes between Earth and a distant star, and the gravity of the planet warps the starlight from Earth's point of view. The star briefly gets uh, brighter and looks bigger, and depending on how big and bright it gets, astronomers can predict how big that passing object was. Astronomers have used this method to detect a dozen or so rogue planets already, most of which are hundreds or thousands of times the size of Earth. And when these huge worlds pass in front of the background star, the star's light appears to brighten for days at a time. But in a new study published this week in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, Scientists detected a gravitational lensing event that only lasted 42 minutes. That's the shortest lensing effect ever observed. And it's so brief that it even gets its own name, gravitational microlensing. From this brief lensing episode, the scientists calculated that the passing planet must be somewhere between 1 and 0.5 times the mass of Earth, which would make this the first Earth-sized or smaller rogue planet ever detected. Now, that's pretty cool because it's the first evidence that there could be billions or trillions of these tiny worlds out there just flying through the universe. And if that's the case, we're going to find out pretty soon. For this study, the researchers used a ground-based telescope in Chile, which gives them a limited view of what's going on in the Milky Way. But uh, in the next decade or so, NASA and other agencies are going to be launching more uh, space-based telescopes dedicated to hunting for exoplanets and microlensing events. And if these tiny rogue Earths do indeed outnumber the stars, we're about to see more of them very soon. Thank you.